I don't know if you guys remember, but I shared a video, I think in the spring, where I went to the Cezanne New York City store and they had a private event. They gave us 10% off. So they did it again. <laughs> and then I went to the event last night and it was so much fun. I'm going to be sharing everything next week so you guys can see everything that I tried on. I didn't purchase a lot. They did give us 10% off, but I really didn't need a lot of things, to be honest. I already have so many beautiful items and it just didn't make sense to get, you know, I didn't feel the urge to buy anything new. I just wanted to try everything so I could share with you guys because I know some of you don't have access to a store and I know that buying online sometimes can be really tricky. So I will be sharing next week the Christy jacket, the Michelle jacket. I also tried the Will jacket. I couldn't find the newest one in a crew, but I love that one so much. And I was really curious about sizing and that kind of stuff. I didn't find a lot of things from the new collection, but I did see the comb jumper and the Leah jumper. So I would definitely be sharing them next week and also during the week on my Instagram. It's Mila in New York. If you are not there yet, go find me. So today we're going to be talking about these items, but I also wanted to tell you what I'm going to be sharing next week. So I will be sharing the Thalia dress, which I know I promised before, the Chloe, um, also the Stella dress, which is from the archives, and the Leo coach, and a few other pieces that I was really interested in sharing. And I, I've got just so many questions. So make sure you subscribe so you can see my new videos every week. In the event last night, uh, we had a lot of champagne. We had some delicious French snacks that were so good. And the staff, like in the store, they're just so nice. They're just so friendly. I wish I lived closer because I would just go to the Cezanne store every day. Why not? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I want to thank you so much for watching this video today and if you like it, don't forget to give the thumbs up and consider subscribing. I will be sharing more videos every week. Not necessarily new pieces, but sometimes I'm going to style my Cezanne pieces with others that I have and just to mix and match and show you guys how you can actually style them and get the most aware of them. I am going to start from my first item that is this gorgeous amazing pair of pants here i have to say that this is the most comfortable and probably my favorite pair of pants that i ever worn in my whole life i think i feel like i want to marry matthew <laughs> it's just an amazing pair of pants i wore the, this i think four times this week i don't think no it doesn't it doesn't smell bad <laughs> but i wore four times and I just love it so much. I got a lot, of, a lot of questions about it. Like, does it feel like too casual? Does it feel like pajamas? So I will tell you the truth. The first time I saw them, the first time I tried them, I was like, okay, I'm not going to keep them because it's $190 when you add the taxes here in the US, in New York. And I was like, I'm not gonna keep them. I'm not gonna pay almost $200 for pants that I'm just going to wear at home to be comfortable. I mean, I like to be comfortable, but I'm not gonna pay almost $200 for that. However, and it, do, it did feel like pajamas. However, when I started to style them with other tops, like I styled with Gary, this is the one I'm wearing with Betty Cardigan, with Lucas and so many other tops I'm actually going to share so you guys can see. I was like, this is really good. So they do, you know, feel super comfortable and they have that feeling of loungewear but once you style with other like tops, nice nicer tops and knits, I just feel it's a really good looking uh, like looking pants, and they don't feel too casual in my opinion. Like depending on how you style the shoes you're wearing, the top you're wearing, you can definitely wear this for work. I wore this for work four times this week, as I mentioned, and it was really put together. I do not feel that it was too casual, especially because of the heel I was wearing boots like um, suede boots heels and it just looked really really nice i'm gonna share some pictures and in, in videos so you guys can have an idea on what i'm talking about i got this one in size small which is my usual size and i recommend sticking to your size i'll tell you why i could have gone with the extra small uh, because i think it would have been 
you know, more form fitting, but I didn't want that look. I wanted this to be a little bit loose on the legs, on the hips, and just nice on the waist. And that's exactly what I have. The first time I tried, I actually felt like it was really, really good. The length was perfect, even if I wore flats. But as you wear, you will notice that it does stretch a bit. And because of that, it's getting a little bit longer. So when I have to wear this with flats, I have to roll the waist a little bit. It's not a problem, we can easily do that. But with heels, I think it's perfect right now. It did stretch, so everything got a little more stretched. You know, the length, the sides, like the width, everything. But I really love it. I think if you stick to your, your usual size, you're going to have a really nice fit um, long term as well. The thing is, I heard merino wool actually shrinks as you wash, so I don't know how this is going to be after I wash it. I'm, go I'm definitely going to share with you guys. But I don't, don't think you should size down or you should size up. You should just get your usual size if you want a nice loose fit, but not like too overwhelming. It's really a matter of opinion though. Uh, I have a friend, Pam, hi Pam. She sized up and she really likes the way it looks on her and it feels. And I think it's really nice too. It's just for me, I felt like if I got a medium, first of all, it would have been too long, which would be a problem because I don't know how to hem that kind of pants. I think you would have to bring to Cezanne for them to do it. Um, and also the crotch area would have been too low for me. So it's a little bit low, by the way, the, the small. So I think the small is really the perfect size. Just so you guys know, it is 100% mer merino wool and it's extremely soft, like really, really comfortable. I absolutely love these pants. Uh, they have it in white, like Acru, and they have the rosewood as well. But I think the white ones wouldn't look that nice and it would get dirty just so easily. And the rosewood, although it's beautiful color, I feel like it wouldn't be as versatile and for that price, I wanted to get something that I would wear a lot and I'm so glad I went with the navy because just the color itself, it already makes you very classy, you know, uh, it makes you chic and elegant. Now other colors might give you another vibe and I just didn't feel like I wanted the rosewood, but I would definitely get another if they come up with something like brown or something like I can wear more often. So. Going ahead, I wanted to talk about this gorgeous sweater called the Selena Jumper, Selena Cardigan. This one, as soon as I saw on the website, I was very intrigued and I wanted to see in person because I felt that it would look a lot like my Anouk sweater. I actually have it right here to compare. Anouk is a little bit darker, more of a cream color, while this one is more white. It's not crispy white, you can see against my wall here. Uh, but it's definitely a little more white than Anouk. The fit and the look is actually very similar. Like it has the same idea, like the puffy sleeves, the cut is the same, the buttons are exactly the same. But this one uh, is a little bit more itchy than Anouk. By the way, Anouk is my all-time favorite sweater. If I had to give away my entire closet and keep one sweater, I would keep Anouk because I think it's just amazing. The fit, the, the feel, everything I love about that sweater. I have it in two colors. I didn't get the navy, but I, I have it in green and also the white. So this one has the beautiful detail with the pearls. One thing is you have to be careful about the pearls because I wouldn't particul particularly put this in the washing machine. I would be a little bit scared unless you put in a very gentle cycle and you put it uh, in the reverse side then you put like in a net little bag, you know. Uh, but I wash my sweaters, most of them, by hand. So I, I'm i not going to keep that one because it's too similar to Anouk. And since I love Anouk so much, I decided to stay with my Anouk and return this one. But it, it is a beautiful sweater. It has this detail here on the cuff, which I think is so feminine. Very romantic style. I'm wearing this one in extra small, just so you guys know. I think it's a good size because you get to tuck in. The small would have been okay too, I think. And for the, the material is 34% kid mohair, 34% wool, 27% polyamide, and 5% elastane. So it is a gorgeous one. If you're looking for something similar, I think this is a gorgeous piece. It is a little bit itchy, and if you compare Anouk, I feel like Anouk is a little softer. 
So if you can't tolerate the mohair and that kind of stuff, I would say skip on this one. But if you don't really mind, that's a gorgeous piece. Now the next one is James. I have to say that I don't know if I want to marry James or Matthew. <laughs> they both proposed. They both are gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. And the rosewood is just stunning. I love that color so much. Unfortunately, I got the wrong size. So they say you should size down if you're in between sizes. But the extra small was way too small. I'm so sad that I got, didn't get my actual size. So the extra small, even the sleeves are too, too tiny. I feel like the small would have been better, but in my opinion, to me, I think the medium was the best. I'll share this one in medium so you guys can see the mod shots. You will see that this one's really small. It really doesn't look that flattering, although the color is amazing. Love these buttons. It has this golden rim here um, next to it. They both have the same kind of buttons, actually and it's 100% merino wool, so absolutely soft, plush, and it feels like a blanket, it's just so gorgeous. It's that really chunky knit, so keep that in mind. It's not going to show you curves or anything, but it's that kind of sweater that you don't need any other pieces to keep you warm. It's just amazing. I would wear this all year round, except for summer, obviously, but in the spring, in the fall, in the winter, with a nice coat. I think it's a beautiful piece, now, I'll tell you the story about this one. I went to the store yesterday to find the rosewood in the small size because the extra small was too tiny, but they didn't have it. They had this one and they said, why don't you try the medium so you know your sizing? And then I got the medium and obviously I fell in love and I brought it home because the sweater is just amazing. And that one, I don't have anything similar. I don't have a lot of chunky knits and I don't have much like, um, I don't have many striped sweaters. I think I only have one which is uh, Leon Time, nothing else. So it made sense to keep because I just didn't have anything like it. And it's just really flattering. I loved the like the chunkiness of it. I tried with the Matthew pants and I think they looked gorgeous together. So this one is in medium. I recommend either getting your size, your, your actual size, don't size down, just don't size down, don't size down. Keep your usual size or size up if you want something more oversized. This one is not my usual size, I normally wear small, but the medium, I think it's perfect. The length is great, I can still tuck it in without a problem. My problem with medium is that sometimes it's too long, so I don't like it. But this one is not too long and I think it's just amazing. The medium is my favorite. Now for the last one, this is actually something I didn't purchase from the website. I don't know if you guys remember, but I mentioned last week that I got Othello from another season lover. She was selling for a really good price and she did the same for that. So I saved about $100 on this one. That's why it made sense to get. It is an amazing coat. It's just like this tomboy style and like boxy fit that I, I really like sometimes. There are pieces that I don't enjoy, but for this one in particular, I think it, it was really good. Uh, the only problem is that I'm wearing the size 34, which is the 2 US, and I won't say it's too small, but it would limit me in case I want to wear something underneath, like more chunky. It is not too thick, just so you guys know. This is not a winter coat, it's definitely a fall coat, and it has the lining here, which uh, is very, very comfortable. That part has wool, so this is going to be scratchy, like on your neck if you are sensitive to it maybe you'll have to either skip on that or you could wear something with like a turtleneck that will make this not go in contact with your skin so i love the all the details i think the buttons are so pretty dearly bethany she i think she reviewed this one and i really loved it on her so i was so curious to try but i didn't feel like the price was exactly what i wanted to pay because it was just too high and when I found that this better price, I said, okay, now it's my turn to get. If you are in Europe, I think the prices there are just so much better. I checked the website and for example, the Nathalie jacket for you guys is $240, while for us it's $330 plus tax. So the Nathalie comes to $360, which I would say is a lot. I think it's worth on that jacket but sometimes you know you have to make choices and you have to make sure that you're getting pieces that work 
with most of your wardrobe, otherwise there's no point because it's just going to be there without being worn. So the this one, I think it's beautiful. The fact is white, I think you have to be careful because I think here in my beautiful, dirty New York City, this is going to be brown very soon. <laughs> but I try to take care of it and make sure that I can keep it for many years. It's a gorgeous piece. It's not a winter coat, definitely fall, but I love it. So let me say the composition. It's 60% wool, 20% polyamide, 10% alpaca, and 10% mohair. So a little bit itchy, but like I said, I'm wearing this as a layer piece. I'm going to put something underneath, so that will not bother me. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, next week I'm going to be sharing with you everything that I tried on in the New York City store and the private event. Uh, we did get 10% off, but like I said, I didn't get a lot of pieces. I actually only bought the James and the Lisette jumper, a cardigan, which I think is so pretty. But there were other pieces that I had that I really wanted to share and I ended up waiting a little longer. So they're actually sold out like the Thalia dress. So I'm definitely going to share next week because I think it makes more sense. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give the thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, click on that button because I will be sharing more videos every, every Sunday. I also want to share some pieces that I already did reviews but I want to do like a capsule wardrobe and things like this just to maximize the wear of each of our pieces. So if you have one of these, or if you have anything that I shared before, just keep in mind that I will be trying to style these pieces with everything that I have so we can do a mix and match and just make sure that you can get the most wear of them. If you like that kind of content, again, don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you in my next video. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Bye.